Hey everyone, new event is up on European servers of Ion, Shattered Abyssal Splinter. So let's check gameplay of that event and later we'll also check details what you actually need to do to get some nice rewards from this event. First thing which I want to show you here is gameplay of that instance. So before we enter, let me show you my position here on Ingison map for Ilios faction. Here is entry point and of course for Osmo faction in Gelkmaros, you will also find near the stairs on the right side of the stairs, you will not find this Abyss fragment. So let's enter inside and let's see how is looking Shattered Abyssal Splinter. I have played this instance in the past really a lot, but let's check how is looking this version of uh, instance for this event. So first thing after you enter, yeah, you need to rebuff, rescroll, whatever you need to do. And uh, let's check here, let's talk with this uh, NPC. Let's see, what did I get here? I didn't get anything, really? That's interesting. Ah, yeah, I need to talk uh, with these crystals now. I should get uh, plus 15 Abyss weapon. I will check how is that weapon looking. I have pretty decent uh, PvP gear, but my PvE gear is not that good here on my Gladiator. So, yeah, probably I will use that weapon. Let's see. So first, uh, let's prepare for the fight. Inside, a boss is waiting uh, to fight. Let's see now first how is looking that Abyss weapon. Here is the chest. Plus 15, let's open it. Okay, no, I will not uh, use a great sword, certainly not. I will go for polyarm. Let's use it and let's check how are the stats looking. So basically, my uh, plus 15 ultimate Dumaha is better than that one. Yeah, for sure. As you can see, weapon attack, additional PV attack is uh, higher. Much higher actually here. Let's use this Abyss Polyarm. I mean, because uh, additional PV attack, let's see. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting, right? Let's use that one. Okay, so let's see how it's looking. Weapon is looking pretty nice. So after we enter inside, we need to hit the boss. You need to make as much more damage as it's possible because of two reasons. First reason is basically pretty simple. If you get S rank, which is basically really easy, you need to have more than 1 million points. Then you will get uh, some rewards after you finish uh, this instance. And second reason is that uh, all your damage is calculated, which you make uh, during a five minutes time or until you die, of course. And then you are on the ranking list and depending on your position on that ranking list, you will receive some additional rewards. So let's try not to die that fast. Uh, let's hit that boss. Oh, that these, these are slowing me down, yeah. These ones are slowing me down. I need to kill them. I have that slow motion thing on me, okay. Attack speed, uh, these mobs are reducing your attack speed. You need to hit them fast if you see them. As you can see, I have like three million points now which is not bad, but I have pretty decent uh, gear regarding PvP on this uh, character on my Gladi, but regarding PvE, my gear is not that good. I have even take this uh, weapon, as you can see. Let's see how this work out. Use everything you have, hit it with everything you got. You have only five minutes time or until you die. So it's pretty simple like that. Let's see how this work out. Probably I'll die very soon. It doesn't matter. I just want to show you how is this instance actually looking and which rewards can you get. We can check that a little bit later. I see some oh, mobs are here. Let's use this pot now. Uh, basically, it's really important also to say, I see some mobs now over there on the side, Kalua mobs. If you kill that mobs, you can get some pots over there, I know that. 
but uh, I didn't do that on the start. I didn't see them. So I just went for the boss. Maybe it's even better to go to kill that Kalua. As you can see, Kalua mobs on my right side. And then to get some pots. That's another option. Maybe you should do that on the start. Here I didn't do that. I'm just hitting this, this boss. Two minutes left, as you can see. Over 7 million points here. And this is on my Gladiator, which is, like I said, not so highly geared regarding uh, PvE. So, oh, don't, don't hit that one. Wrong target. And if you have character, of course, which have a better PvE gear, then you can make more damage. As you can see, will I die now? Come on. Pot, 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 pot. Okay. Whew. That was close. Probably I will die now very soon. 8 million. Will I reach 9 million? That would be nice. Yeah. Okay. So I have died now. As you can see, I will get S rank for sure. Because I have get more than 1 million points. 1 minute 35 seconds left. And uh, depending on how much damage other people have done inside. Uh, I will also be on the ranking list. And I will get some additional rewards. We will check later which one. So let's open uh, this uh, chest. Treasure chest, okay. As you can see, S rank. Okay, looking good. And let's see now what I get. Experience crystals. Okay, and here I have S grade trophy. This is nice. You receive this trophy when you obtain S grade, S grade in even shattered abyssal ruins. Okay, so this is easy. So as you can see, gameplay of this event is actually pretty simple. There is nothing to it that much. You need to enter this uh, instance. You need to make as much as damage as you can. Uh, sometimes on certain days of the week, uh, Thursday, uh, Tuesday and Saturday, you can get this plus 15 abyssal weapon, which you can use if you want. You don't have to. You can use your own, own weapon. Let's check how is this weapon looking. Okay, I like it. Yeah, it, oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I love this really. It's looking really amazing. And uh, now let's check uh, details of this event uh, on official website of uh, Ion. Let's go there. Okay, so I'm now on official website. Actually, it's not website. It's a forum of uh, Ion Europe uh, Gameforge. And here we can see a post from Galea's community manager where we have explained Shattered Abyssal Splinter instance. So as you can see here how it works, you can enter the instance daily and check the rankings to see how you placed. There are two playing models available to choose from. You can also put a stop to Yemeni's Pain Flare underlings in Ingison and Gelkmaros and get additional rewards. Entering the instance, you have seen that, right? Uh, what are requirements uh, possible for all players uh, level 80? Okay, each round lasts uh, five uh, minutes. There is, you can get more entries using extra, even extra ticket, Abyssal Ruins. You receive this as a reward for completing special event logbug missions or for getting throughout eight daily logbug missions. Okay, that's pretty clear. Additionally, boss monsters drop the ticket in the following instances. What we have here, Promethean, Esoterans, Macarno Bitterness, Stella Development Lab, Benerk Manor, and Ara Infernalia Easy. Okay. Uh, instance models, uh, Abyss Weapon Mode, Abyss Weapon Mode, you have seen that. I have took that weapon. And there is that uh, cold Pazuzu thing where you don't have that uh, additional weapon. So basically you get, you need to fight with your weapon, whichever weapon you have. Then we have the rankings. The rankings are decided by calculating the total damage you've dealt to Pain Flare once the round timeout of 5 minutes is up or you died. The damage that you dealt to the boss is up uh, to that point is taken into account into the rank rankings. So basically your damage are the points, right? You will receive your reward at the entrance to the instance. Instance rewards are level S. As you have seen, uh, eight uh, experience crystals, free combat experience extractor. Of course, level A, B, and C are um, lower rewards. And now important part, right? Ranking list. The 100 best players. Top 100 ranking is generated for 
all servers each day. Ah, for all servers. This list shows the performance of the best 100 players in every class. So this is not overall, it's, it is overall regarding servers, but it's for each class, right? Within the class. Uh, okay, and as you can see rewards here, first place, uh, 200 Luna and five special transformation contract, a little lamp, hangbook, 70 times. Second and third place, 150 Lunas and three special transformation contracts, a little lamp, fourth to sixth place, 100 Lunas and two special transformation contract, little lamp, and so on. If you are between 71, and 100 position, 10 Lunas and one special transformation contract, 72, 72 types. Okay, so basically, yeah, it's not so, I mean, rewards are, rewards are decent. There is nothing so much extraordinary, but also this event is nothing too complicated. Even if you are a new player or returning player to the game, you can play this event without any kind of problem because on the days when uh, we have, let me check that days. You, you see this? Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. On these three days, you can get that Abyss weapon. So if you're a new player, enter inside, and even if you don't have any kind of good weapon, you will have it now. You can make some damage, right? And you will be S rank for sure. You will get at least experience crystals and combat experience extractor. And maybe you will be even within 100 players within your class in all servers. That's also possible. It is possible. And you can get some special transformation contract or even this uh, little lamb handbook uh, 70 types special transformation contract. So nothing too complicated, pretty easy, pretty simple and really fast right because you will not survive at that much long time you have seen this i have died a really fast i mean really fast i have hold like for four minutes three and a half minutes i have managed to stand right and after that boss killed me i have made like eight and a half million or almost nine million damage so doesn't matter do your best and get some rewards it's it's pretty fast and simple simple event so why not to grab some additional rewards Thank you for watching the video and of course tell me in the comments below video what is your opinion about this uh, new event Shattered Abyssal Splinter. Did you try to play it? Did you manage to get some rewards? And which kind of events would you like to see on uh, ION European servers in the future? I'm interested what you think in generally regarding events lately which are happening in ION normal version of the game, right? I'm interested about that because as you can see we have lots of different events uh, during the time. Some events are promo, some are normal events. However, me, I'm playing as a free-to-play player and uh, basically some events it's really hard to play without investing real money. So I'm interested, what is your opinion regarding events which we have lately on European servers of ION? Thank you for watching the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more ION videos in the future. See you soon.